¿Algo aquí? ¿En las dos? Sí. ¿Algo aquí? Altitude snap. Ok. So the first one is just an introductory question. It's uh, just about a, a bit general about how how you started running and and why you started running. Sure. Yeah, I I've, I've always been a runner. I remember you know doing field day in fifth grade um, as a kid and always just kind of being one of the faster runners. And I've always run whether it's training for other sports. I played football in college, so I've always been running for that. I was a sprinter, track and field, and moving to Colorado really exposed me to the the endurance world, and I really, really got interested in mountain running, and ever since then, that's, that's all I've wanted to do is to run in the mountains and, and run races in mountains and, and trails and explore as well as train. So it's uh, it's been a great way to... Uh, also create a, a career for myself and coaching coaching athletes okay uh so what's what's kind of your day-to-day -day approach to running regarding training and nutrition and all that yeah so I, i do a lot of heart rate training with my athletes so we we kind of control intensity with heart rate and speed um so they're always kind of training at their own level of ability which is really important um and then we kind of introduce um kind of kind of work backwards depending on what their goal race is um we work backwards as far as how long we need to train to accomplish their goals for that race and inter integrate the nutritional aspects of there's kind of two two sides of it the nutrition is the kind of the everyday nutrition of what you should eat in your meals and how to that is important for fueling your running and your training but not only what you eat in those meals, but what you eat while you're out running and fueling and being able to perform with, with good energy. So um, I do a lot with eating well, eating clean, um, trying to get away from a lot of the sugars that are so detrimental to all societies. Um, and so I, I focus on just really trying to have my athletes eat clean, natural foods. They can make their choice, whether it's you know, meat or no meat, but a lot of vegetables and a lot of balance between fat, proteins, and, and cardiovascular, cardiovascular uh, car carbohydrates. Okay. Have you, uh, in all this time running, have you developed a, like a specific philosophy towards it that, that you consider yours? You know? Towards running? Or? Yeah. Towards. Yeah, you know, so what, what I've kind of become known for is kind of blending the strength training and how important that is for running and really dialing into how important our feet are in strength for healthy running and applying that to run form and how important run form is for longevity and performance and then the whole performance aspect of training athletes for races so i try to kind of combine those three aspects and, and which leads to you know, kind of their own performance and longevity and health of running. So again, all, all three are very important, how we use our feet and how we use that for strength. And then the, the actual physical run training, um, for specific races. Okay. So, um, 10 years ago to, you came to Mexico to, uh, to, a, to another running adventure, which turned into a book. Yeah. So, Uh, we just wanted to know how does it feel to come back and kind of how, how does it relate uh, and what has changed in you, I guess, yeah. in, in, in this time? Yeah, I'll, I'll, the, the, 10 years ago when I went to the Copper Canyon, you know, we had no idea what, what that would lead to and it changed my life, you know, it changed my career it put me in a world stage to allow to help many many runners and that's been you know again life-changing and at the same time people ask me if i'll ever go back to the copper canyon i said no i i it was a once opportunity that was very special and i wanted to look forward to going back to mexico in another way and 
um, when this opportunity came about, I was so excited because I had, you know, I just have a good internal feel of how things might work and the people I get associated with and the project that it just really, really kind of tugged on my heartstrings that this could be something special and it was. And to be able to run in the Oaxaca community and see how people get excited about running and how they got excited about their own community. And I was been thinking last night and kind of reflecting that I think what was special for me was you know, I come from, I live in a tourist town and to see how they want to grow ecotourism here and how important running could be and how excited they are to share what they have was really, really special to me. And to get to know all the people was, was really special. Okay. So this relates a little bit to yeah. your, to your, um, to your answer, but, yeah. uh, how did you find out about Aire Libre and what made you uh, want to be a part of it? So I, I have a special friend who lives in Mexico City, um, Javier, and he came to one of my run camps last year, and we've gotten to know each other very well, and I've become his coach, and we've gotten to know his family, and he, I, I'm not quite sure how that conversation started, um, but the Ari Libre team, you know, approached me if this is something I would want to do, and, you know, coming from Javier, I knew they were good people, and um, I, again, I just, I always trust my gun instinct and it just sounded exactly what I wanted to get involved with and um, maybe continue to get involved with, so. Okay. Um, just, um, just again, as a general thing, tell us about your experience here in, in Oaxaca. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I, it's such a hard question because every day kind of continue to tell this story. Um, and, and even, even every section of the run that we did was its own little story, whether it was the rain. Um, I hate running in rain, but it rained all day that first day. And it, I'll always remember that because I hate running in rain and now I love it because of this special experience and um, in the bond that you always have with runners, getting to know them and getting to know the locals that we ran with um, and seeing this tremendous terrain that is completely different than I'm used to running in was is why it's so special for me. Um, and also to, again, learn about a, a different culture. I mean, you know, the, the, the simplicity that people live their lives here is so um, inspiring. And, and if we can kind of, not that we want to live that way all the time, but if we can take bits and pieces of that simplicity and how people just always have a smile on their face and how food can be so simple every day, but so good. Um, and there's a lot that we can learn from these people that we can take back and, and integrate into our own lives. So I think, you know, aside from spectacular running, it's, it's, it's about how we can maybe become better people. Okay. Um, uh, what impression, again, it relates to what you just said, mm -hmm. but what impression do you take on the way people, people live out here? and the way the communities are managed. Yeah, again, I think it, it, for me, it comes down to the, you know, I live in a mountain town and I understand, you know, kind of that special feeling that that, that has in, in the simple life. Um, but this, to see it on this level is was so inspiring and I think it just brings everything back to, you know, life should be simple and we sometimes overtax ourselves and we can, you know, we, we often hear that music is the international language, but I think running is the international activity or sport. And with the ecotourism that's happening here, um, I, I think we can bring, um, 
people here to be active and to see unbelievable terrain, but also again to get back to maybe a simple lifestyle where we can't use our phones and it's just you're just living day to day and it's you know we as a group we kind of joke that you know the last three days seemed like a lifetime and i think when you slow things down and you're so in the moment and focused on what you're doing at that time life slows down and i think that's there's a joy in that and i i saw that in the people okay um is there any piece of advice you would like to give to the runners and, and maybe aspiring runners that follow Aire Libre and are part of this community as well? Yeah, I mean, I, first and foremost, could get out here. I mean, it's unbelievable. I mean, the, it's endless of the terrain that you can adventure through. Um, it's so diverse. You can get as extreme as you want to or as not as extreme as you want. And, and to run town to town, you know, create your own adventure, um, you know, pull out a map and create your own little itinerary of adventure running like we did and you know go town to town experience the food it's it's unbelievable it'll be an amazing experience awesome yeah yeah so that's it thanks you guys yeah <laughs> sorry